Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. It's Christmas time and I want to uh, wish all of you a happy, happy new year and a merry Christmas throughout this week. But the exam is uh, knocking the door. It's 26th December this time, CSI Net Life Science Examination. So I have a video for you and uh, this has been requested by several students earlier and that is regarding uh, the topic uh, Ramachandran plot. Ramachandran plot, very important. In fact, one of the most important uh, topic from uh, biochemistry for CSI Net Life Science Examination. One of the most important topic from biochemistry and for that reason, I am going to explain how to remember Ramachandran plot. Basically, the problem students face to understand Ramachandran plot is the uh, how exactly they can remember uh, the, the angles, phi and psi angles. And based on the representation of phi and psi angle, what kind of secondary structures are allowed geometrically to be presented in a protein. You know, this video is not about the basics and basic concepts of the Ramachandran plot. I have already made videos on that several times and the videos are there in my channel. This video is a mnemonic video, a trick video that will help you to remember uh, the Ramachandran plot in a methodical way. For you, I have this and what I'm going to tell you is that, I'll just remove this, okay, all right. So what I'm going to tell you is a simple mnemonic to remember Ramachandran plot, okay? And this mnemonic is this, sci-fi, you know, sci-fi means science fiction, sci-fi Balram. This is something that you need to remember. If you remember this particular sentence, sci-fi Balram, that's it. You are going to construct a whole Ramachandran plot that you see in images, in pictures, that you probably tried several times to remember, but you failed. But you can easily do that with this sci-fi Balram. So within five minutes, you are going to know how exactly we can do that. So the first thing that I am going to draw is the Ramachandran plot and even this plot is nothing but it has four quadrant and what we need to find out is the individual quadrant, what kind of secondary structures are allowed at what phi and psi angles. That is something that you need to remember and the questions will be asked from that topic. Okay. And uh, Ramachandran plot stated that for different phi and psi angle combinations, uh, in proteins structure, in proteins geometry, only a particular set of uh, secondary structures are allowed, be it a uh, left-handed helix or right-handed helix or be it uh, parallel or anti-parallel beta sheet. So here in this, there are four quadrants and how to draw this, you know, this particular part you all know, four quadrants, that's it, a big square and four uh, segment to that square. Now comes to the a mnemonic that is psi phi. So psi means obviously two angles. First is psi and phi is the second angle. So the first one that is here we will put psi and phi we will put here this. So two different, uh, uh, okay. So this is the x axis phi, y axis psi. So you see y is psi and x is phi in this case. So psi phi, that's why we have psi phi, okay. Now we are going to put the rest of the uh, things. So in sci-fi, what we know is that this is zero in the center, this is zero in the center. And what we are going to put the values here, obviously this is plus value here for psi, psi plus here. And uh, this is minus value for psi. And this is minus value for phi as well. This is plus value for phi. And obviously in this corner, what we have in this corner also the same thing. So this is plus for psi, but minus for phi in this quadrant. Okay. So you need to remember this. So this is something that I draw. This is plus for the phi, uh, psi. This is minus for the psi. This is minus for the psi. This is plus for the psi. All right. So now what we are going to see is that this sequence is very, very important. Bal Ram and why we have this sequence, but before going in there. Let me give you a simple idea between phi. So between the sci-fi combination, we are always looking at sci-fi combination. Okay. So in the sci-fi combination, what we have here in the first quadrant, we have psi plus, but we have phi minus. So min plus and minus this combination is there. In this quadrant, we have psi minus phi minus. In this quadrant, we have psi plus and we have phi also plus. In this quadrant, we have psi minus phi plus. So plus minus minus minus. So if you are going this 
काउंटर क्लॉक वाइज दिन प्लस माइनस लेट से गोइंग माइनस 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 प्लस 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 इफ यू गो क्लॉक वाइज प्लस माइनस प्लस प्लस माइनस प्लस माइनस माइनस यू कैन कंस्ट्रक्ट दिस सो इफ देर इज अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस फाइव एंड साई एंगल इफ देर इज अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम रमाचंदन प्लॉट सिंपली नोर साई फाई बल राम एंड कंस्ट्रक्ट इट देन ट्राई टू आंसर इट यू डोट नीड टू मग इट अप ओके सो यू नो वी कैन इजिली कंस्ट्रक्ट इट फ्रॉम दिस सेंटेंस इट सेल्फ नाउ बल राम वॉट वी मीन बाई बल राम बी स्टैंड फॉर बीटा and we are always going like this so so beta beta means beta sheet now what kind of beta sheet we are talking about this is kind of either uh, anti parallel or parallel any kind of beta sheets are possible here okay for b then comes a a for alpha alpha helix a is for alpha helix now the alpha helix that we are talking about here the alpha helix can be of different type left handed or right handed that's why you have l for a left handed and the next one is alpha helix for the right handed got it we have alpha helix for the left handed first then right handed but now we at which sequence we are getting it try to understand now we have this clockwise direction of movement so i'll take this black clockwise means first we have plus minus for so this value psi this is value for phi okay so we have plus minus then we have plus plus from this to this from this to this now minus plus and last is the minus minus so this is our movement clockwise movement clockwise movement try to remember this in this movement remember one thing among this four quadrant this quadrant is not allotted for any of the secondary structures that we know of that is alpha helix beta sheet of any kind so this is a segment that we always cross it out so we cross this particular quadrant out so all the other three things beta sheet alpha helix left handed alpha helix right handed are placed among the rest of the other three quadrants and it follows that order of balram that particular order so starting with balram b for beta sheet so the beta sheet should should come here now you can open your biochemistry book and check that for a psi angle plus positive for a phi angle negative it is suitable to have beta sheet as a secondary structure be it parallel beta sheet be it anti parallel beta sheet but anti parallel comes earlier i mean uh, the values are little uh, above and then the parallel one next one is alpha helix left handed alpha helix so we have alpha helix left handed and the left handed alpha helix is possible for the psi and phi angle plus of positive phi and psi angle okay so here alpha helix left handed here we have beta sheet now we know that minus plus there is nothing important or considerable okay and the next point is minus minus this is what we have we are having alpha helix uh, right handed so we have alpha right handed so we have alpha helix right handed here so in this whole ramachandran plot with four quadrants the quadrant where the psi is negative phi is positive none none is present but for the rest of the three we have beta sheet alpha helix left handed alpha helix right handed right in front of you which you can draw on your own by knowing this particular sentence psi phi balram that's it you don't need anything else you don't need to read and mug up anything just remember sci fi balram you will be able to draw this and once you draw this you check this and whatever question is asked in the examination you can easily solve that by knowing sci fi balram that's how easy it is to remember ramachandran plot that's the mnemonic for ramachandran plot for you for c s and biochemistry c s and unit 1 ramachandran plot understanding if you want to know about ramachandran plot in details there are videos in my channels you can always watch but that's it for this lecture if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to get more videos like this there's a separate playlist of all the mnemonic video that i've listed i'll put the link in the description you can watch those as well thank you bye